everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quarantine glow up transformation and a little spa day. It's been a while since I pampered myself, you guys. It's been too long. So I decided that I was going to order a whole bunch of things to try out from Amazon to do with skincare and beauty and all that stuff and do it for you guys in front of the camera. I'll be reviewing them, trying them out, and at the same time, like getting a pamper session out of it, which is what this video is all about, obviously. And I don't want to stand in front of the camera anymore looking like this let's go and turn this zero to 100 i'm going to show you guys everything that i picked up from amazon and that you guys can actually shop to because i just opened a little amazon store it's just the storefront where i have all the products that i love to try out and mention on instagram or youtube you guys can find it super easily everything is categorized by home or skincare or beauty or clothes but we're not going to talk about it you guys can just look at the link in the description and uh, just check it out yourselves but uh, yeah you guys have to see what i just picked out okay so what i'm just gonna show you guys what we're gonna do in order so this video has a structure and you guys understand what's going on because it's a lot it's a lot so my hair is like five day old hair and it's absolutely just like oh my god i can't i can't even talk about it without like actually puking but first thing we're gonna do is uh, this honey infused hair mask from mickey zoo and i love putting this mask on it smells absolutely amazing and i'm sure my hair needs all the hydration it can get so we are going to leave this on for about like 20 to 30 minutes while i do the following stuff i'm gonna do my eyebrows and i usually like to pluck them out and also i like to wax them and to do that i'm gonna be using this brand of um wax it's the persian wax strips it's for sensitive skin and there's like 40 strips in here and i like it because you can like cut them out to the shape that you want so i'm gonna be cutting it to fit my eyebrows and also maybe my upper lip and also my underarms and I shave my legs so I have to wait till that grows in I really need to stop I want to stop shaving my legs because it's just so bad like you get ingrown hair your hair grows out like one day after it's scratchy it's not great for your skin and then to open my pores up I'm going to be <laughs> try out this uh, facial steamer and it has a very interesting shape I guess my face just like goes in here and it just like chills there while it releases steam and opens up my pores and uh, allows me to go in with this facial skin scrubber on my nose to remove blackheads or just like pores and apparently this works really well i know it like what like what is that like how does it work but i have read some reviews and seen some youtube videos that uh, this is how you do it nose strips are apparently canceled so i'm gonna try that out hopefully it works and then i'm gonna shower and that's when the magic is gonna happen so i can go in with a treatment mask a little facial skincare and then i'm super excited about this lash lift kit instead of doing it to my eyelashes i'm gonna do it to my eyebrows to achieve that laminated look it's like that really bushy um upturned brow if you haven't seen this on youtube like where have you been at because i've seen so many videos of people doing this so i'm excited to try it out for myself and then last step i think is going to be a dental whitening treatment this one is just from crest um i don't know i don't know and yeah, all those products are going to be linked in the Amazon store down below so you guys can check it out. And now that you guys seen all of that and know how this video is going to roll, let's go and get started because I'm so excited to get started. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because it's been a minute since I've done a hair mask. So that's gonna be sitting there for the next 20 minutes. And I actually forgot to mention to you guys that I did get a manicure because my nails did not look this pretty during quarantine at all. I did not do my nails. I had like no nail polish. I like took out the cuticles. It was like a whole thing. And I totally forgot to film the before and after for you guys. But uh, if it helps, I will just link the name of the nail polish that I used because it's 
so spring vibes okay and then we are going to be doing my eyebrows i don't even want to show you guys up close because it's so grown in like where is the shape and then go in with the customized cut out strips of the wax this mirror here from ikea lights up it has one maximizing side and one normal side hi and um best purchase i've ever done it's gonna be a lifesaver doing my eyebrows with this right here let's put you guys in a better position for you guys to see what's going on and let's do the damn thing <laughs> This is so painful, but it's taking all my hairs out. But so far, it's great because then I don't have to go plucking too much because it did take a good portion of the hairs that I wanted to take out. <music> This is what the eyebrows look like so far and you guys already know I like to keep it natural and bushy and feathery but yeah basically this is it okay and then now I think I'm going to uh, take these strips again but use it to wax my armpits because it's summertime and I need to get that situation sorted Okay, don't mind me, I am in the process of waxing my underarms and I went ham on my mustache area with the wax too and I was like, hmm, might as well while I'm here wax my sideburns so now I have like this like square on my face of just like this patch of like no peach fuzz which I hope after the shower, after like I don't know, doing whatever else I do to my face it kind of like looks more natural because or else I'm gonna have to wax my whole entire face for it to look the same shape my hair mask is still on after like an hour my hair is gonna fall off and uh, it hurts so much waxing my underarms i just want this part to be over so we can get to the fun stuff but i'm just gonna skip over this part because i'm like not appropriate right now and i have like this strip on my underarms that hurts really bad so i'm gonna be right back when i am a little bit more hairless <laughs> okay update i am all done with waxing and now i have this box to unpack and figure out how it works it is the facial steamer so it says here some uh, benefits of a facial sauna it deep cleanses obstructed pores hydrates and purificates your face promotes blood circulation in your face maintains the balance and elasticity of your skin relieves a cold or sinus problem and uh, fight exhaustion if used with essential oils oh you can do essential oils with it oh my god this is amazing okay so it looks like this i think Okay, now it's locked in. This was a little cup that I used to fill up with water. And I guess let's turn it on. I'm so nervous. Okay, so the light went on. This feels so amazing. I'm breathing it in as well and it's just like... 
the humidification my face and nose needed okay now that i am done with my facial steam and my pores have really opened up my skin is so glowy right now i absolutely love that i am gonna go in with the facial skin scrubber i already unpackaged it and i think it came with a little bit of charge and so it has three settings lifting moisturizing and cleansing and this is a spatula it came with a cover even like a silicone cover so it's super hygienic I kind of got everything or I don't know actually I don't really have a lot of whiteheads but I just wanted to see if this will get anything out in the first place and I think it did like here's a close-up this can be a bit disgusting but as you can see it did remove something especially on the sides of my nose but I wanted to do this before the shower just just so I can uh, have an excuse to use a facial steamer okay let's read more about this because I'm actually curious why it works <laughs> basically it says here product features pigment decomposition fades spots deeply removes wrinkles and enhances skin elasticity promotes blood circulation and lymphatic metabolism enhance skin cell regeneration and permeability it massages skin nutrition import modeled export so you are supposed to use this wet and I think I could have used it a little bit wet than it was but uh, for all intents and purposes it's actually much better than you know applying like a glue strip on your nose and yanking it out and it removed everything very like gracefully like it didn't really hurt that much except for like the noticeable zapping wait I'm touching it now and my nose actually feels very smooth this is actually kind of good so I just came out of the shower. I washed off my hair mask. It felt amazing. And I wanted to show you guys what I use in the shower. So this is a scalp massager. This was amazing for when I got my hair extensions sticking out because I could really like massage in my scalp so it could like stimulate new hair growth. I'm all clean now. I shaved as well. I applied my favorite exfoliator that I use like once a month. It's kind of like a shower mask. And uh, I used a body scrub from First Aid and uh, yeah no the shower was amazing and we are going to finish off with the rest of the things that i wanted to do for this spa day so i needed to take a shower before applying the perming eyebrow lift because i think you need to have a sit in your eyebrows for about 24 hours then you can wash it off same with like lash extensions or same with lash perming this is how it looks like we have a plant extract care eye patch so this is obviously if you are doing the lash lift which i'm not so i'm not going to be using that today oh the lift pads for your eyelashes obviously i'm not going to be using that and then we have these like little face bottles here that I'm gonna have to read what it does So this is a little tool that they use to like comb through every single lash. That's very interesting There's like so many of them here But I think one thing that I need to get from the kitchen is Saran wrap to lay these babies down. So I'm gonna get that right now and come back and do this Okay, so I propped up the things here in my bedroom I'm just gonna be doing it here because it has better lighting. I think okay, so starting off with with the glue i'm going to just brush them on my eyebrow in the direction that i want it to go at so first i think i'm just gonna lay it here in place because the brush the bristle in the thing is not really good to brush out your eyebrows and really lay them down i'm gonna be brushing it up and oh my gosh like, i can already feel how like sticky it is okay it's like drying really quickly so i have to hurry and i really have to concentrate it here on the end because my hair there is really stubborn it never wants to go to the right place okay you guys it looks like this i'm gonna do the other side now let's just say that that's that let's just move on to the next step okay and then pretty self-explanatory after that everything is labeled with numbers next steps number one perm okay so i'm gonna use the lash lift tool picked it up on the tool and uh, now i'm going to 
place it on my eyebrows I'm just gonna be as generous as I can because I know eyebrow hair can be more stubborn and more thick than eyelash I'm gonna put the plastic wrap right on my eyebrow so it can sit there and I don't accidentally touch it or touches anything for the next 10 minutes I think I'm gonna put a timer on my phone for 10 minutes and I'm gonna be right back to unravel this and we can do the other steps because there's three more steps left okay 10 minutes has gone by I'm gonna take this off clean it and apply the second step which is this blue bottle right here titled uh, fixation and i think that's just supposed to like neutralize i don't know the the perming solution but oh my god i really hope my hair doesn't fall out <laughs> it looks even like darker to be honest which is really weird cleaning off the spoolie tool and uh, gonna apply fixation solution and then ceram wrap for another 10 minutes okay so 10 minutes has passed again i'm gonna remove the plastic wrap <gasps> why do they look black i don't understand um i think i'm just gonna skip step three because it's just like an oil just to moisturize or something it says nutrition on the bottle so i'm gonna go ahead with the fourth and last step which is the cleanser and i'm going to be just applying this on a little cotton swab and cleaning off the glue and all the other perming solution in there i'm gonna make sure it's nice and clean i'm gonna have to brush off like this a lot of the excess but i think one thing is that it's definitely like flatter against my skin if that makes any sense and like straighter whereas before it really like curved out like now it's like laying so flat little to none of my hair came out really so i'm very pleased and happy about that because that's definitely what i was worried about maybe i'll go ahead and like trim the top because it's looking very long Okay, now I'm back in the washroom and I'm going to put on this Magic Stripes Intensive Treatment Mask. I have already tried some things from the brand before and I really like them. So it says here it's with hyaluronic acid. It instantly fills and smooths facial wrinkles. It's a powerful moisturizer. Instant cooling effect. Excellent skin firming effect. Improves skin elasticity and reinforces the skin's resistance to climatic changes. Let's try it out. My skin needs a lot of nutrition right now because I haven't really been doing my skincare routine at all, to be honest. So it comes separately, the bottom half from the top half. Oh, uh, okay. Oh my gosh, it's so cooling. You are right. Oh my gosh, this feels actually pretty good. Amazing, the bottom half fell on the floor. Hello? Like, what is this? You guys see the eyes? Okay, so this eye is like not detaching. So I'm just gonna have to leave it there. And uh, I'm sorry to describe it how I'm about to describe it this moment, but I'm gonna get like the juice and <laughs> bring it down here on the bottom half because the bottom half portion fell on the floor and I don't wanna open and waste another package. <laughs> this is how we're doing towards the last portion of this video. This is, this is the mood. Okay, let's... Ow, let's take this out. We're done. We're done with her. I think we're supposed to put it on for like about 15 to 25 minutes, but I literally only had it on for 10. I just brushed my teeth while that was going on, and now the last step is to put on a dental whitening treatment. This one is from Crest. My teeth have been so yellow, and I've tried already going to a professional dental whitening person, and they advised me to just wait up and just do it um, another time or when I'm older because it can make my teeth super sensitive. So I Instead, I'm just doing this. How long am I supposed to keep this on for? 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, that's a really long time. So I'm going to finish brushing my hair and doing everything. And then I will get back to you guys with a whole different look. 
Hi guys, here I am after I finished glamming. I did my makeup, I did my brows for the first time and I absolutely love how they turned out. I would definitely do it again and I recommend you guys trying it out too because I didn't even have to do them, honestly. I just brushed them up with gel and filled it out with eyebrow pencils like really easily but they've been setting up like this most of the time and I rarely have to put makeup on them. So yeah, I really loved it. I also did my hair as you can tell. I brushed it out and straightened it and put on a cute top but I feel so much better after that whole spa day I feel like just so much more put together and I hope you guys enjoyed that video thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys